Hey, so if you've been following along in this video series, we've built a landing page, we've built a pop-up box uh, with an email form, capture form in that pop-up box, and we've integrated it with MailChimp, but it's just a prototype at this stage. There's no styling on it, it just looks black and white, and it's just a proof of concept. So the obvious question is, how do we start to bring this to life to match our client's style guide? Well, luckily for us, Elementor have just released a native integration with Typekit so we can bring in all of those beautiful fonts out of Typekit directly into our page and start building it out to the client's design specs. So let's go into the WPE studio and see how this works. Okay, from my WordPress dashboard here, I go to my Elementor settings menu and click on the integrations tab and all the way down the bottom, is a field for me to type in the kit ID from Typekit for the specific kit that I want to use on this website. So I'm going to go over to Typekit now and go to my kit page and I'm going to choose the kit. I'm going to copy that kit ID and paste it directly into that field in Elementor and then click on the get kit button and Elementor will tell me the kit ID is all good. It may take a few minutes for Typekit to update. So I'm just gonna click on Save Changes, and now what I also have to do is in Typekit, I need to go to my kit editor for that particular kit that I'm using, and I need to add the domain that I want those fonts to be available on. So under Kit Settings, I'm gonna add elementor.local, because I'm developing this on my local machine using Local by Flywheel. I click on Save Settings, and then I click on Publish, and a couple of minutes later, those fonts will be available for me to use on my local machine developing that website uh, using Elementor. So let's go back into Elementor, go to my pages menu, and let's click on the landing page that I built previously, and let's edit it with Elementor. And let's start bringing it to life by using the client's fonts. So I can choose any type, uh, any text area here on the page, and in the properties inspector, under the style tab, you'll now notice under typography, there is a new section in the font family dropdown called type kit and the fonts from that particular kit that I've authorized are now available, which in this case is Proxima Nova. So when I click on Proxima Nova, Elementor updates the font in real time there in the page editor. Look at that, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I'm gonna turn the letter spacing down to about uh, minus 0.8 because that's the way I like it. And I can change any of these text elements on the page. I won't bore you and make you watch me do all of them. Instead, I'll pause the video, I'll go ahead and do it and I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product. All right, and here is the landing page with Proxima Nova instead of Helvetica. Uh, and just this is a very, very quick example of how you can rapidly turn a prototype and start to rapidly take a prototype and start to turn that into an actual client uh, project using their fonts. I can very easily change colors. I can add real images here. Uh, it's a, a beautiful thing. Without touching a line of code, I can very quickly take a prototype that I've previously sold to a client as a proof of concept and start to turn that into a finished product. So I love this new Typekit integration that Elementor have given us. Um, if you found this video helpful, please leave me a comment underneath and tell me what else you would like to learn about building WordPress websites for clients and running your WordPress consulting business. And please subscribe to the channel and share this with your friends or anyone else you think might be interested. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, I'm Troy Dean, go Elevate.